In the 23rd century, humanity had conquered the universe and expanded its territory across galaxies. At this time, a cosmic threat emerged, a gigantic insectoid species from a planet called Klendathu. Since then, humans and bugs have been engaged in constant warfare for territorial control in outer space. At Earth's human headquarters, governed by an organization called the United Citizens Federation UCF, they frequently release videos of the war between humans and bugs to encourage people to join the military. Those who enlist become citizens of the universe with many special benefits, but the cost is their own lives. Therefore, many families do not want their children to join the UCF. In a classroom on Earth, a one-armed professor named Ross Chak, a former soldier, is teaching students about world history and the importance of the military. However, a student named Rico is only interested in playing with his girlfriend Carmen. After class, Rico and Carmen check their math test results. Carmen's score is very high because she worked hard to get into her dream Air Force Academy. Rico is embarrassed to have only scored 35%. His best friend Carl teases him and asks about his relationship with Carmen, reminding Rico that their classmate Dizzy also likes him, but Rico chose Carmen. After that, they went to another class where they were taught how to dissect an alien bug and identify all its organs. Rico passed it without any problems, but Carmen couldn't take it and immediately threw up. In the afternoon, she was taught the ability to analyze in blackjack by Carl. Carl is an extremely good analyst, he can even guess what animals are thinking and tell them to do what he wants. Although Rico's academic performance is not good, he is a very good rugby football player. In the match, Rico easily passed his opponent to score for his team. The other player, Xander, stood up and saw Carmen, and immediately started flirting with her. Carmen was also very excited to know that Xander was studying at the Air Force Academy. When the game continued, Rico lost his concentration because of this, so he was hit by Xander and his team lost a point. Dizzy helped Rico calm down, and Rico finally stole the ball from Xander and scored the winning goal for his team. When he got home, he saw his girlfriend preparing to join the UCF, so Rico also wanted to join and asked his parents. Of course, his parents objected and wanted him to stay on Earth. To appease Rico, they promised to take him on a trip to outer space. In the evening, at the prom, Dizzy ran up to Rico and told him to choose her, but Rico just wanted to be friends with her and then left. Suddenly, Rico saw Carmen talking to Xander, which made him jealous when he learned that Xander was also at the Air Force Academy. Rico told Carmen that he would join the UCF with her. The next day, at the registration office, Rico, Carmen, and Carl registered for the military. Rico was assigned to the infantry, Carmen to the Air Force, and Carl to the intelligence department, the most important department in the organization. The man who took their applications was also an infantryman like Rico, and now he has lost most of his body parts. When he got home, Rico had a fight with his parents, but in the end, he couldn't change his mind. Later, at the train station, Rico and Carmen said goodbye to each other. After much effort, Rico received the words, I love you, from Carmen, and then each of them boarded a ship and traveled to a different galaxy in the universe. A few days later, at an infantry base in space, Rico and the other recruits met their instructor, Zim. To scare the boys, Zim asked if anyone wanted to spar with him. One of them volunteered and in less than a second, he was on the floor with a broken arm. Suddenly, Dizzy appeared. It turned out that she had asked to come here to be with Rico. Zim then tested Dizzy's talent, and although she managed to stroke his cheek, she was quickly subdued. Everyone then had to participate in a lot of exercises to test their skills. During the knife-throwing test, one person asked why humans had to use knives against the bugs when we could just shoot them with missiles. Zim quickly pinned the knife to his hand and told him what he would do now without a hand to press the button. While bathing, everyone shared their reasons for joining the military. When it was Rico's turn, Dizzy revealed that he was there for a girl, which made everyone tease Rico while he was making a video for Carmen. Sometime later, on the other side of the universe, Carmen received a letter from Rico. She was also preparing with her friends to complete the spaceship piloting course. Carmen entered a giant spaceship to take the final test. She suddenly discovered that Xander was her instructor. Although she had only piloted on a computer before, Carmen immediately successfully piloted the spaceship out of the station. Back with Rico, after a while, Rico and the others had superior fighting abilities. Just like in rugby football, Rico excelled in the exercises, so Zim promoted him to captain. But the joy didn't last long. In the evening, when he received a message from Carmen, he was very disappointed to hear her say that she wanted to break up to focus on her career. Rico joined the UCF all because of Carmen, and now he was faced with this harsh reality. The next day, Rico's class was allowed to participate in a combat simulation using live ammunition. At first, everything went smoothly, and they quickly killed their enemies. However, one of Rico's teammates had a problem with his helmet, and Rico went to take it off to check it. This was not allowed, and another team accidentally shot him in the head, killing him. The other person was immediately kicked out of the military. 
Rico was seen as having potential by his superiors, so he was only demoted from captain and punished with 10 lashes. However, Rico had just been rejected by Carmen, and this made him too depressed, so he asked to withdraw from the infantry. At the same time, Carmen and Xander were officially assigned to the same flight crew, and they were very happy about this. As the two were about to kiss, they suddenly discovered a gravitational force, a meteor was flying at high speed towards them. Carmen quickly entered the cockpit and successfully dodged it. Back on Rico's side, he was apologizing to his parents so he could return to Earth. The call was interrupted at this point. Rico was about to leave the base when the news reported that the bugs meteor had attacked and completely destroyed Rico's hometown. Millions of people were killed, including Rico's parents. The UCF Council decided to counterattack and completely destroy the bugs on the planet Klendothu. Rico, of course, would stay to avenge his family, and the commanders agreed. Then there was this morale-boosting program for the military this time. It talked about how to kill bugs by shooting them in the legs, an invention by Carl himself. Carl is now one of the leading researchers on bugs in the intelligence division. People on Earth are also outraged and retaliating by stomping on the bugs. Sometime later, on a space fleet, the Air Force and infantry gathered Rico and the others were interviewed, and they were all eager to prepare to destroy the bugs. Rico also met Carmen again. Carmen explained that she had done what was best for both of them and hoped they could still be friends. Rico didn't have time to speak when he saw Xander. He understood everything and was about to leave, but this guy still provoked Rico's infantry, so Rico punched Xander in the face. They then started fighting. Soon, the UCF fleet arrived at the planet Klendothu. At this time, energy balls from the bugs were continuously fired into space at the motherships, but humans underestimated the bugs, thinking they had no intelligence and that those things were not lethal. As soon as it hit a spaceship, it exploded, and humans started to panic. The ships were continuously exploding. Below, Rico and the infantry were also trapped by the bugs, and they attacked from all directions. A moment later, the casualties were too great, and the humans had to withdraw. The bugs swarmed after them. Rico tried to shoot a bug dead. However, he was also injured and unconscious. The next morning, the UCF commander-in-chief had to resign due to negligence in gathering intelligence on the bugs, and a new commander-in-chief would soon come up with a different strategy for the next attack. On TV, people are also arguing about whether the bugs are intelligent. Meanwhile, Carmen and her flight crew survived and returned to the space fleet. When she saw the list of casualties, Carmen quickly searched for Rico's. And she was devastated to see that the machine reported that Rico was dead. However, this was false information. On another ship, Rico and Dizzy were still alive and being treated there. When they recovered from their injuries, Rico and his friends asked to join this infantry unit. It turned out that the commander was his old teacher. He would be the infantry commander for the second campaign, attacking a different planet. This time, humans had learned their lesson and bombed from the air first, then sent in the infantry to sweep with their numerical superiority. They easily destroyed the bugs' small nests. Suddenly, a giant beetle emerged from the ground, it could even breathe fire, which scared everyone into running away. Only Rico found its weak point. He jumped on it, broke its armor, and put a bomb in it to destroy it. Everyone applauded Rico's actions, and Rico then confessed that he used to be his student. That night, everyone had a party to celebrate. Finally, Rico and Dizzy became a couple. Suddenly, the party was interrupted by Rosschak summoning them. Rico prepared for a rescue mission. The next day, the unit headed to another base. While marching, Razak's sergeant was suddenly captured by a bug. Roschak immediately took out his gun and killed him to end his pain. He also asked everyone to do the same to him if he became like that. Due to the sudden loss, Rico was also promoted to sergeant to replace him. When they arrived at the base, they found nothing but dead bodies everywhere. There was a hole inside the base. This showed that they had been ambushed by the bugs. Everyone was horrified to discover that the soldiers' brains were also gone. Suddenly, they heard a noise. When they opened the storage compartment, they saw a general who was going crazy. He told them that the bug had controlled a soldier to call for help while sucking his brain. This proved that it was definitely a trap. At the same time, thousands of bugs were approaching the base. Everyone quickly set up a formation to hold them back while waiting for the Air Force to pick them up. Flying bugs now appeared, causing everyone to quickly fall behind. Fortunately, Carmen and Xander's ship arrived in time to pick them up. Everyone was suddenly in the middle of the base, the bugs swarmed up, and Roschak was captured by them. Rico kept his promise and rescued him. On the other side, Dizzy killed a giant bug, but she was also stabbed by another one. Rico and his teammates quickly helped Dizzy onto the ship, but her injuries were too severe, and she passed away shortly after. Rico then held a funeral for Dizzy. He released her coffin into space. Carl arrived at this time, now a colonel. He apologized for sending Rico's team there and explained that they actually knew everything but did it to make sure there was a bug commander on this planet. 
the military would then proceed to capture it. Carl also officially promoted Rico to new lieutenant to command this mission. Very quickly, Rico's team landed on the planet. On the other side, the bugs counterattacked and fired energy beams at the spaceship. Carmen's ship was hit head-on and torn in two. Carmen and Xander had time to board the ship and leave, but the ship was already on fire. Carmen reported their position on the radio, and Rico received the information. Then she and Xander started fighting against the surrounding bugs, but they were helpless against them. Hearing their screams on the radio, Rico thought they were dead and ordered his unit to continue the mission. They would find the bug commander through the tunnels in the cave. Inside, Carmen and Xander were not dead yet. The bugs were keeping them alive for some reason. While the unit was going down the cave, Carmen's location was on the way, so Rico ordered the unit to continue, and he and two friends would go with them to find them. Inside, the commander revealed himself with a body like a giant snail, and the other bugs had to carry him to move. Xander now gave Carmen a knife just before he was sucked out of his brain, and then it was Carmen's turn. She managed to fight back with the knife. Rico carried a bomb and entered. The commander knew the power of the bomb, so he didn't dare attack them and quickly left. When he had just left, the little bugs started attacking. A wounded teammate stayed behind to sacrifice himself for them to escape. Finally, the three of them made it out of the cave. They saw the soldiers celebrating when the infantry captured the bug commander, and the one who captured it was Sergeant Zim. Carl also arrived at this time and read the bugs' thoughts. Dot and he informed everyone that the bugs were afraid of us, which made everyone happy. That's the end of the episode, thanks for watching.